to what group do you want to belong? Many years ago, I accepted my first teaching position as a third and fourth grade instructor in a small rural school in Clinton, Missouri. One day after lunch, I returned to my classroom and I found a small group of children in tears. And I asked them, what's the matter? And one little girl wiped a tear from her cheek and she pointed at all the other kids and she said, they're calling us stupid because we have to go to the special classes. In our school, several children had been identified with learning disabilities. We wanted to put them into groups, as we often do in schools, and oftentimes these groups have labels. The labels we gave to their classes was remedial math and remedial reading. But we all know what these labels mean, right? I mean, even when you were in kindergarten, you always knew, no matter how they told us, who belonged to the butterflies, right? And who belonged to the caterpillars. Well, I looked at the poor little children that were in tears, and I said, all right, it's time for you to line up and for all the kids that were being called names to stand by the door. They got up and they walked towards the door with their heads held down. And they stood in line to go to their special classes. And then I got in the line behind them. You see, when I was in school, I loved to go. I was a butterfly. I loved to sing, and I loved to make science projects. I loved to dance. I loved to soar. And then one day, we had to learn how to read. Everybody learns to read. When we look at our pages that are open in the page of a book, everyone can read the words and see the letters and decode them in ways that they make sense. Well, my left eye wanders, and my left eye is much weaker than my right eye. So when I stare at the pages of a book, it's as if the letters are printed on clear sheets of plastic and placed on top of one another. I can read the words. It just takes me a little longer. The older I got, the more often I was placed with all the other caterpillars who didn't want to be caterpillars either. In fact, some of the caterpillars dropped out of school. But I didn't want to be a caterpillar. I wanted to be a butterfly. I wanted to go to college with all the other butterflies. So I worked at every odd job I could find to save up enough money so I could go to a college on the other side of the state and create my own label. When I got there, I liked hanging out with the butterflies because they were smart. Until one day, when we had to take a required reading exam in my rhetorical writing class with all of the other freshmen. After class one day, my teacher asked to meet me by the door. And she held the test in her hand and she said, Julie, you're reading at the sixth grade comprehension level. I think we need to make an appointment for you at the Student Learning Center. And I said, what did I do wrong? And she said, you didn't do anything wrong. But this test also shows that you have the vocabulary of a graduate student. I knew the two weren't measuring up, and so I dug in. And those reading comprehension questions, you got right. You just didn't answer most of the questions. She asked, how long does it take you to complete a test? How long does it take you to read it? I'd been found out. I said, sometimes it takes a long time. I'm LD. I've got a learning disability. And then she changed the words that changed my life. She said, Julie, LD means learns differently. Do you have any idea how smart you are? Most students with learning disabilities have average to above average intelligence. 
In fact, some studies show that students with learning disabilities are gifted. Did you know that you're standing among giants like Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein? They learn differently too. And so do you. When I looked at all of these sad little faces looking up at me by my classroom door, and I said to them, you know what? I belong in your line too. You know why? Because we learn differently. Do you have any idea how smart you are? Did you know you're standing among giants like Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein? They learn differently too. And so do I. And so do you. And then I looked at the rest of the class who were calling them names. And I said, if you're going to call these children stupid, you better be prepared to call me stupid too. And remember, report cards come out next week. I looked at the little ones by the door and they stood tall like giants. You may have been labeled when you were a child, but the great thing about labels is this. Labels are like an old hat. If you don't like it, don't wear it. All of us begin life as caterpillars. Sometimes we forget we have wings and the capacity to fly. All of us have opportunities to learn. We just learn differently. You choose who you want to be. You choose your people. You choose the group you want to belong. You choose your tribe. And so I ask you, do you belong to generation maybe? Or generation, I'm not sure. Or do you belong to generation yes? All of us begin life as caterpillars. All of us have the capacity to soar. And so I ask you, do you know how smart you are? Did you know you're standing among giants like Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, Harriet Tubman, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Whoopi Goldberg, Mark Zuckerberg, all of us learn differently. They were born as caterpillars, but refused to allow anyone to tell them they could not fly. They are butterflies with the capacity to soar. And so do I. And so do you. Thank you.